What the Israeli military is doing now in Gaza is a brutal attack against civilians. They deliberately carry out strikes targeting residential buildings and destroy the infrastructure in Gaza. What Israel is doing is organized state terrorism, and it is also considered a war crime under international law. Our work today is aimed at ending the Israeli aggression against our people in Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza. And then we can start a serious political process leading to an end to the Israeli occupation of the territories of the state of Palestine, including East Jerusalem. Ahmed al Nauk is a spokesperson for the non-profit organization Euro Mediterranean Human Rights Monitor. Joins us now live from London. Good to have you with us. Uh, can we address this question, first of all, of human rights violations? Israel's been accused of breaking international law by bombing civilian areas, by targeting uh, media. Is it, in fact, in your opinion, committing war crimes? In fact, Israel committed numerous uh, and her horrific human rights violation across the years, and not only during this escalation, but also during the past escalations on Gaza. For example, in 2014, when Israel launched a war in Gaza, the fact that checking in Human Rights Council uh, conducted an investigation into alleged war crimes in, in, in the Gaza Strip, and it concluded that Israel committed war crimes and crimes against humanity against the Palestinian people. Also, not only that, but after that, in uh, the human, uh, in uh, the March of Return, Israel committed also the crimes against the humanity by shooting the Palestinian protesters. In Gaza, during this escalation, during the past eight years, we documented numerous uh, human rights violations as uh, Israel targeted residential buildings, targeted uh, towers, bris, uh, bris offices, and also wide entire families from uh, from e existence. Of course, this is not the only time that Israel committed a human rights violation. Israel has a long, uh, complicated uh, li list of human rights violations since the, st the establishment of Israel in 1948. Yes, and as we've seen, uh, Israel is never really held accountable, is it, for breaking international law? Is it going to be any different this time? Well, since, as I said, since the establishment of Israel, numerous human rights, uh, numerous human rights organization condemned Israel and uh, accused Israel of uh, committing war crimes and uh, apartheid against the Palestinian people. The, the UN, the Security Council, and the Human Rights Council also uh, issued many resolutions condemning Israel of committing a human rights violation. But the problem is that Israel has always think uh, thinks that uh, it is above the law. It has never been held accountable. And what we need now is we need a firm and and uh, uh, we need a firm resolution from the international community to stop and hold Israel from continuing its human rights violations. As I said many times, more than 45 resolutions uh, by the Human Rights Council were, were uh, uh, condemned Israel for committing a human rights violations, but Israel never w was never uh, held accountable. And uh, Israel continued uh, to perpetuate human rights violations against the Palestinian people because it is uh, because it thinks that power is above law. There are increasing calls for a ceasefire uh, for the Israeli airstrikes against Gaza. But there's been so much damage, so much infra infrastructure damaged, uh, so much damage to uh, power stations, to the sanitation, to hospitals, to schools. How long is it going to take Gazans to recover from this? Because their suffering doesn't end just because the airstrikes do. Yes, uh, in the last escalation on Gaza in 2014, Israel demolished... Uh, De demolished uh, Gaza, and uh, in this escalation, it started from where it ended last time by targeting the residential towers and residential buildings. Unfortunately, the, in the last escalation in 2014, it took the Palestinians years and years, and maybe some of the Palestinians who lost their houses did not uh, have them rebuilt uh, uh, until now. So it will take years, unfortunately, to to uh, to rebuild the Gaza Strip because there is a stifling siege on the uh, on the Gaza Strip. So unfortunately, only the, the civilians are suffering, only the Palestinian people are suffering, and it will take years and years until they rebuild their, rebuild their houses. Uh, not, not only that, also Israel also demolished many of the factories in Gaza, the very few factories in Gaza, and the bris facilities and, and, and businesses, business offices. It will take years until the Palestinians recover from this catastrophe. And unfortunately, uh, although there are some talks about ceasefire, but uh, there are no serious talks about it until now. So God knows Ahmed. only how many houses will be demolished. 
Thank you very much indeed for your insight there, Ahmed Al-Nawuk there.